Good afternoon, Maria Pe. Good afternoon, Mom. Okay, Maria Pe, can you tell me about yourself? I'm Maria Pe Mondrisa, Mom, 32 years old. I'm Sipari P. I have three children. I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Why do you want to work as a maid? I will have my family, mom. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? Because it's here in, here in Philippines. How are you qualified for this job? I am a hardworking mom, honest, trustworthy, and disciplined. May I know what your educational level is? College, college undergraduate. What was your experience before? Or the recent experience do you have? Factory worker mom as a cutter. Do you have experience of taking care of baby? Another baby mom, no. I have experience of my own baby. How about elderly? Do you have experience? No, mom. Do you have any other special skills? No, ma'am. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? No, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook? Filipino food, ma'am. From all the house chores like washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking, which do you like most? Cleaning, ma'am. All cleaning the house, ma'am. Cleaning. All. Okay. All of this is uh, you will do at your employer house. Yes, ma'am. I will. Okay. Do. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kids? My parents. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. Yes, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore. Yes, ma'am. Instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and condition? Yes, ma'am. Are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understand? Four years, ma'am. Can you describe for me your attitude? I'm honest, ma'am, trustworthy, disciplined. Okay, how can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? I will do my best, ma'am. You will do your best to? To do, to what is do our my job, ma'am. What is our assurance that you will work hard in Malaysia? I will finish my two years contract, ma'am. Okay. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. 
Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Okay, do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? No, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No. Have you undergone any operation? No. Are you medically fit or are you fit to work? Yes, ma'am. Are you in any medication right now? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No. Are you preferred to work for the employer of any race? Yes, ma'am. Are you preferred to eat the type of food taken by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, ma'am. Okay, are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, Maria Fe, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to answer me truthfully. Upon arrival in Malaysia within six months only, if ever any of your family members passed away, what will you do? I will finish my two years contract, ma'am, and I will send money to my family. Okay, again, Maria Fe, tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? I'm Maria Fe Mundrisa, ma'am. I'm 32 years old. I'm separated. I have three children. I want to help my family. That's why you want to work here in Malaysia. Am I yes. correct? Okay, what do you want to tell to your employer who are watching your video right now? Maria Fe, if in case your employer is watching you right now, what do you want to tell them? I see, good afternoon. Mom, I'm sorry. Louder. I will say, ma'am, good afternoon. I'm Maria Fe Mundrisa. I'm, I'm 32 years old. I, I'm separated. I have three children. What do you want to tell them? For them to hire you? I am hardworking, honest, Discipline and trustworthy. Okay, um, thank you very much, Maria Fe. We will update to your agency if there is any selection made by the employer. Okay, thank you, ma'am.